Welcome to the Kafka's You and welcome to the latest Chelsea news. This week's four biggest stories that I can take away that I think as Chelsea fans we all need to know. Stay tuned, enjoy and let's go. Guys, I haven't done one of these videos in a while. It's been a while. All right, so let me tell you what we're looking at today. Firstly, the latest Kai Havertz news. It's heating up, it's boiling. I'm going to give you everything that's come out through this week and you're going to be straight up to date. All black. We are linked with All Black and it is strong. There is quotes. There is quotes, okay? You're going to be interested to hear about that. Additionally, we're making more money. How did we make more money last night? Of a deal that a contract was triggered. Love that. Love that. Additionally, the latest on Hakim Zayek and the training ground. Is he going to train with the team or is he going on holiday? He's back, guys, and I'm going to give you all the pictures you need to know, all the stories you need to know, so stay tuned and enjoy. 10 minutes, max. Guys, the channel is close to 2,000 subscribers. What, 250 people or less? I don't know. As of this point, it's under 250. So, let's get up to 2,000. Interactive below. All the topics I discuss, I want you guys to tell me your thoughts. Let's pile drive these comments in and I'm going to be replying to all of you and we're going to have good conversations. Okay, we'll start with the Kai Havertz news first. I know you guys came here for the Kai Havertz news, so I'm going to give it to you straight away. Kai Havertz to Chelsea has been a roller coaster that's not ending. It's one that's heating up and like I always say, the Bunsen burner is getting twisted. It, the flame is getting bigger and bigger and the temperature is rising at a rapid rate. German outlets, kicker, are reporting that Kai Havertz has his heart set on Chelsea. No matter what happens, he wants to join Chelsea. Whether Chelsea make the Champions League or not make the Champions League, he wants to go there. The project excites him. Roman Abramovich is going to be able to get this deal done. We have the finances. It's going to be done. Finances are not an issue. The deal is likely to happen after when? After the Europa League. You guys are forgetting. Bayer Leverkusen are in the Europa League. The transfer window is not even open yet. We've just been busy. We've been active. Quick two-piece straight away. Let's get in the third now. But yeah, it's meant to happen, apparently, after the Euro Bayer Leverkusen are, are either champions of the Europa League or out the champ Europa League. I personally feel we just need to be patient. Look, we need to be patient and let Marina do her thing. I believe we could get this player for 65 to 70 million. This 100 million evaluation that they have is a bit too high for me. Christian Flack is reporting 100 million euros. I think we can lower it down maybe to 80, 75. Marina is a tip top negotiator. There is no one better than her. You're going to see why. When I tell you guys what happened yesterday, you're going to be so happy. Honestly, it's really improved our transfer budget. And I think players like Kai Havertz are a reality. A left back and a centre back could be an option as well. We have money, guys. It's about time we start spending it. On a scale of 1 to 10, I'm willing to put my neck on the line. I'm saying there's a good 7, 7.5% possibility of this happening that's very high this is one of those things where the player wants to join the club is willing to sell Chelsea are willing to match the fee they just need to get around the table there's no competition let me tell you why I know there's no competition Florentino Perez as the Real Madrid president or Florentino Perez as you English people will call him Florentino Perez yes my friend he's openly come out and said no big signings this year Kai Havertz ain't going there Rummenigge came out said no big signings what does that mean Bayer Munich are out of the equation. Who else? Manchester United aren't interested. No one else got the P through. We're the only team that won him. And you know what? Come, welcome. And as I said, think about this, right? Perez is saying you can't get players to take lower wages and then sign big stars. It makes sense. Speaking of Real Madrid. Real Madrid won a league title yesterday. And why am I so happy? Because our guy won a league title. Am I talking about Thibaut Courtois? No, mate. You get lost. We're talking about Eden Michael Hazard. Eden Hazard has now become the only player in the history of European footballers to have won Ligue 1, two Premier League titles, and a La Liga. Fantastic achievement. It's taking off stuff to be remembered as a legend in this game. Eden Hazard does another thing once a time. You're almost probably telling me, listen, Eden's gone, why do you care? Why do I care? One, I love Eden Hazard, greatest Chelsea player of all time. I don't care what you lot say. He is the greatest Chelsea player of all time. Better than Didier, better than Terry, better than Lampard, better than anyone you lot can think of. And more importantly, 
More importantly, apparently, Chelsea are getting 130 million. Now that transfer evaluation went from 100 million plus add-ons to 130 because they won the league. Eden Hazard didn't play an integral role, but he's part of their team. So, brothers, we're getting paid. All of a sudden, we've got 30 million extra to show on the books. And next thing you know, next thing you know, more money, more money to spend up players. This is what we want, guys. Eden Hazard is being a Chelsea fan even when he leaves. I love it. It's something that makes me very happy, you know. The club is in good balance. The negotiation team, I'm very proud of. I look at other clubs. Like, all jokes aside, I look at other clubs, like, for example, Spurs, when they sell players, it's on the cheap. I look at Arsenal on the cheap. Arsenal can't give away their players. Manchester United, where they sell, is usually cheap. We sell on elite level prices. We get the better end of the deals. Even when we don't want to sell, we get the better end of the deal. Marina is phenomenal. We need to show her some love. And, yeah, man, hit a like button for Marina's selling technique. Go on, help the team out. But all jokes aside, makes me very happy. We're moving on to the next story. The next story is an interesting one, and the next story gets me very excited, right? So, we know Kepa's not had a great season. We know Kepa's not the way going forward. But who is? And this is very exciting. You should be excited. Jan Oblak. This player is a fantastic goalkeeper, arguably top two in the world. Him and Allison are fighting out for that spot. He is a very good shot stopper, decent on the ball, very dominant in the air, comes and collects crosses, and he's a leader. He's the captain of Atletico Madrid. I almost didn't get the words out there. That's a good sign. And how do I know this is potentially true? So, the rumours are, it's going to be Cash plus Kepa. We know Marina wants to get Kepa out, but she doesn't want to make a loss. This could be a way of saving face. This could be one of those things where it happened with Napoli and Sarri and Jorginho. Chelsea paid a little bit more for Jorginho to save face because they didn't want to buy Nap Sarri's buyout clause. So, this is what we might do. We might offer him Kepa, dash some money in and take Oblak. What does this deal depend on? It depends on Oblak wanting to leave. Simeone has come out and said the player is happy, he's important. And as you can see in the quotes over here, he's the man for the future. He's the man that they want to be at the club for the future and lead them. Why would you want to lose your best players? It'll be stupid. And plus, replacing them with Kepa makes even less sense. Kepa's stock is so low right now. To replace him with Old Black is suicide. Then you have the director coming out. The director comes out and openly says, if the Russian wants him, the Russian usually gets what he wants, basically, in other words. When there's money being thrown, Roman gets what he wants. Roman chills on his yacht, cigar in his hand, gets what he wants and I don't blame him he's a fantastic owner and we rate him because what he does for this club is fantastic not many owners do that Marina and him always get their own way and I love that because they work for us so could this deal happen maybe why not we've got the money let's get the player he would fix a lot of issues finally gang Hakim Zayek is in the Chelsea kit Hakim Zayek the picture's gonna flick around now He's in a Chelsea kit. He's doing very well. Playing, training. You saw pictures of him and Reese James. What a right-hand side that could potentially be. There was skill sets where he's chilling with Hudson and Doi. He was in the dressing room talking to Kovacic, talking to Rudiger. It is nice. Honestly, it's so good to see. It's something that we don't usually get players of that caliber. One thing we can say about Hakim Ziyech is he is a very skillful player. And it's not something Chelsea normally get. He said Frank Lampard played a major role in getting him to the club. And I love that. It really excites me that our manager does have pulling power. I think that's so integral in modern day game. Especially now, right? Frank, at his age now, is basically an idol for people of my age. And players of my age are in their prime. I'm 23, 24, right? I'm 23, 24 year olds are smashing it. They're absolutely smashing it right now. They're going into their prime. Hakim Zayach is 27. He remembers Frank as a kid. Why not? He remembers him as a kid. And that, that's a good sign, you know, where our manager can do that kind of thing and just inspire people to join us. This was your latest news. Give me in the comments below some constructive criticism about this segment. Look, I'm always going to give you guys the match preview. Any breaking news around about that day is in the match preview. Then we're going to cover the press conference in the match preview. We're going to give you a match review of six things you need to know. And sometimes I'll be giving you guys this kind of video. If you like it, 
hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and if you don't like it, give me alternative suggestions on what I can do. Let's keep this interactive. I want this to be a Kafka's community. I want all of us uniting together, making a great Chelsea channel, and maybe even a football channel. Tell me, do you guys want me to cover football all round? Because I can start dashing that kind of stuff in. Maybe do a Premier League review show. You guys might like that. I've got a boy that I know would love something like that. So keep it interactive. I want to hear that. If the demand's there, we'll do it.